My name is Rhea Paria. I am the chairman of Autism Tobago. I'm also the proud mother of two boys, Michael and Aiden, who has autism spectrum disorder. April is Autism Awareness Month. We look forward at Autism Tobago to celebrate this month every year. On April 2nd, 2007, the United Nations General Assembly declared this day Autism Awareness Day. At Autism Tobago, we look forward to celebrating with our families and spreading awareness to our community. During Autism Awareness Month, Autism Tobago, we host several activities to bring about awareness and also to include our families in socializing as well as just participating in wonderful activities. Over the years, we have done walks, we have done what we call the motorcade or the drive blue, where we drive through communities, spreading the message of awareness, as well as information about this disorder. During the year, we celebrate with our families. We have family days. We also have training sessions and workshops for parents. What is autism spectrum disorder? Autism is a neurological disorder. That's a big word. What does that mean? This disorder affects the brain. Persons with autism have challenges in three main areas, socializing or making friends, communicating, whether it's their feelings or through language. They also have challenges in perceiving the environment or the world around them with their senses. There are many symptoms and signs of autism. A person with autism must have a certain amount, not just one, of these signs or symptoms. They may have inappropriate reactions, laughing or crying at the wrong time, lack of awareness of danger. There was one time when my son just ran into the street and not aware of that being a dangerous activity. Attachment to strange objects, refusing to let go of toys or something as simple as a toothpaste cover. They will love routines. They must know where they're going, you can't change their mind, you can't just veer off of the plan. The socializing aspect of not being able to make friends and being able to communicate with others is also a sign or a symptom of autism. If you have a concern as a parent, I had my concerns. Aiden wasn't speaking. At two or three, he wasn't doing the usual pointing at the birds or pointing at stuff. So I had my concerns, but he was developing normally physically. If you have your concerns, Talk to your pediatrician or just don't let it rest. Pursue it and find out what may be causing these challenging behaviors or these behaviors that you find a little off in what the child is doing. Our theme this month, acceptance, understanding and awareness. Moving from surviving to thriving. What can parents and guardians do to help their children, their youths, even their adult autistic children thrive and grow? How can they support them? Having the knowledge, doing the research, the extra reading to understand this very puzzling disorder. Each of the individuals with autism, they are different. A parent has to understand their child and what they need, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. Once you understand what they love to do, you can support them in that. It can be music, it may be art, it may be mathematics, numbers, whatever it is. Help them grow and thrive in that area. Learn how to be their therapist. I had to learn to be a speech therapist, an occupational therapist. I had to even hide my own fears of riding a horse because my son loves riding on horses. So you edifying yourself and just gaining the information can help your child to grow, to thrive to be their best that they can be. What do I want people to be mindful of? As it pertains to autism, this very puzzling disorder? That's a good question, because I had to come to the point where I, under I understood what I wanted. I just wanted my child to be happy, to be accepted, to not be looked at in a strange way in public, <laughs> you know, and this is a lovely piece. I listen when the moon speaks. Listening is a very good place to start. 
listening to the information from the right sources and understanding that. As I said before, if you have met one person with autism, you have met one person with autism. Getting that level of compassion and patience in the supermarket, at the bank, because sometimes they can't have someone to watch the child, they have to go what you have, do what you have to do. And just having that level of, may I help you? And patience, that understanding for parents that have to cope and have to deal with raising an autistic child. was a production of the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly.